So how do you make the time to get a big project done? Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now, and I'm here to empower you. So over on Patreon, I had Steve and Manny uh, ask me about uh, getting big projects done because uh, we as artists, we often uh, get really ambitious. We want to do an animated cartoon. We want to... Uh, finish a video game we want to do this giant painting we want to draw the an epic comic I mean there's so many projects that take a ton of time to do and what ends up happening as uh, I was asked on patreon that we often think about it and think about it and then we say and I quote from the question man I wish I could do this thing it's my dream to do it but it's gonna take so long and we spend so so long saying how long it's gonna take that we never end up doing it so how do we end up doing it how do we get to do it well uh, the title of this video is making time to get a big project done which means that you've got to make the time it doesn't just fall out of the sky you gotta actually schedule it you have to have a specific time you gotta kind of treat it like work so for example if you work on anything if you are at work wherever you are at work whatever your job is you sit down at a scheduled time and you produce whatever the work is and then it eventually gets done because you're putting in that kind of work well on a side project unfortunately your work is getting all the time right when you're doing a side project or when you're doing something a project an art project you've got to treat it the same way you got to be able to go okay at so and so time after i'm done working so and so time during lunch so and so time before i start work at so and so time whatever it is you schedule the time and then you uh, do it so um, it's, the first thing you gotta do is schedule the time so but but actually well that's actually the second thing you gotta do so uh, I'm going to uh, really here so here it is schedule the time okay so that's number two uh, I kinda skipped ahead so let me go back to the first thing you got to do and that is you got to pick the right project so before you even start scheduling the time to do it you've got to pick the right project that is for you so uh, we have a lot of ideas we have a lot of things that we want to be able to do right and the problem is that uh, it may not be the thing that is your thing uh, it may an animated uh, cartoon may not be you, the thing you should be working on. Uh, it, an epic comic may not be the thing you should be working on. Uh, sometimes uh, that is not the thing. Uh, unfortunately, you don't know what that thing is. So before you spend thousands and thousands of hours to schedule the thing that you're going to spend years doing you got to know if that thing is worth doing for you so pick the right project how do you pick the right project well you pick a tiny tiny project that is similar to the big project so if you're going to do an epic comic that's going to take uh this is going to be 11 volumes whatever it is it's just like your epic you're gonna write Lord of the Rings you're gonna do your Lord of the Rings you first have to do your Hobbit right so you gotta do the short thing and, and even then like in, in, in the case of the Hobbit that's actually still a whole book uh, you would probably want to do a short story in the Hobbit universe that could be started and ended as fast as possible that's when the scheduling comes in so first you pick a tiny tiny project right you do a small little thing uh, if you're going to do an animated short first you pick a 30 second test right you do a 30 second animation test a walk cycle a jump a gag 
uh, a visual gag that takes about 30 seconds, a character opening a box and reacting to what's in the box. Whatever it is, very, very, very simple. Pick a bit of dialogue and animate that little bit of dialogue that's about 30 seconds long. Whatever it is, do that. Uh, if you're going to do a, if you want to do a, a massive painting, what you do is you, you, uh, you, instead of doing a massive painting, you do a, a figure, uh, just a head, a, a portrait, uh, maybe two figures, like something s simple and, and straightforward so that you can see if that's the thing for you, right? Uh, and that's when you schedule that. That's that, it's like you you have a test schedule time. So the the small project will lead to the big project by by scheduling that time. So that's when you one test whether or not you can continue the the, the schedule. Like like if your schedule is going to work. Two. So when you pick the right project. So so and then and 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 again that's when we go to you 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 test out to see if the, proj the, the project that you want to do is really the project you want to do. And by doing so, so what you do is you do a small project of in the same kind of vein. Uh, if you're going to do a comic, uh, do a comic strip instead, right? Uh, do a, do a, do a eight, page, eight panels, four panels, whatever it is, and then schedule the time to do it and get it to the point of being finished. The third thing you got to do is when you schedule the time it doesn't have to be a lot of time so uh, if you only can schedule uh during your lunch time and and the first you eat and then you do the 30 minutes then do the 30 minutes uh you know so you eat 30 minutes and then you for and you have an hour uh, you do that if you only have a 30 minute uh, lunch break then you can do 15 minutes and then the, the, you could eat 15 minutes. You have to like scarf it down, and then you work for the next 15 minutes. If you have, if you can schedule a full hour at some point, then you do the whole hour. But it doesn't matter how long it takes you to do. What matters is that you set aside the time to do it. So it doesn't ha it doesn't have to be a lot of time. It doesn't have to be three hours. It doesn't have to be eight hours. It doesn't have to be. Oh, I only I don't have enough hours. Well then. You don't work an hour. You don't work t for three hours. What you do is you work 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Okay, it, it doesn't have to be a long time. The point is to schedule the time and be consistent with it, and then put in the time. That's all that matters. And the most difficult thing, hands down, out of all everything that I've said, this is the number four. The 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 most difficult part is stick with it until it's done. Uh, that's the hardest part. Uh, going every single day, scheduling it. Uh, well, I'm not saying every single day. If you're only going to be able to schedule it on a Tuesday, then every single Tuesday. If it's only going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But it has to be uh, done and you have to stick with it and you have to keep doing it and that is the hardest part that's the part that makes it difficult that's the hardest part it's the same thing when you're working out it's the same thing with anything that you want to get done uh, whatever it is you got to stick to it until it's done and so ideally the reason why you pick the right project first you start small it's really tiny you test it out with the schedule you find out how if you what it feels like to do it and then it doesn't and then it doesn't have to be a lot of time and then you stick with it even at the smallest stage even when you're doing the 30 second animated cartoon even if you're only doing the four panel strip or the eight panel strip even if you're doing the the, the portrait painting whatever it is that you're going to get done you stick with it until it's done and then you analyze what you did, what it felt like, how was it, was it a good time, was it a bad time, was it the project, did you like doing the project, was it satisfying, did it, did it, was it hitting all the bits that you wanted it to hit, right? Uh, that's the important part. That's, that's when you analyze whether or not it was worth your time. So... Uh, that is advice when making the time to get a large project done. Don't start necessarily with a large project. 
test it out, go through the paces, pick the right project at a, at a, at a, a bite-sized piece piece of a version of that project, then schedule the time. It doesn't have to be a lot of time. Then stick to it, stick with it until it's done, and then then you, now you've tested the whole process. Then maybe you want to add to it and and do that. Um, one more piece of advice. You can make a large, large, large project if you break it down into tiny bite-sized wins, into tiny bite-sized pieces. So for example, if you're going to make an hour-long animated uh, cartoon, then what you want to do is you want to schedule 30 seconds at a time, like you did with the test, right? If you're going to do an epic uh, comic, then what you do is a page uh, a, a day or a page a week or, 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 or the page is the, the goal in just doing that page as if it's a comic strip. You know, um, if you're, if you're uh, going to do this big ep epic painting, then, then what you do is you, you, you kind of set up in, in bite-sized chunks all the process so that um, once you've got it all kind of set up, then you're working on one part of it. Like you, 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 you set up goals even within the larger painting to get certain pieces or parts done, uh, making sure that everything, uh, each step is, is, is getting done little by little. And so you have some kind of win so that it feels like, okay, this is done, right? All right, so uh, thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful, and I'll talk to you next time. All right, bye.